hello everyone welcome back to my channel i'm mr bobbin or malika and in today's video i'm going to be making an ugly christmas an ugly christmas sweater for the first time so i actually was not going to do an ugly christmas sweater but then for some reason i saw something and i was like okay i haven't done it before so i'm going to do it so i bought yarn and i just bought impeccable because honestly it's the easiest yarn to get and it's and it's still good because this is my go-to acrylic yarn of impeccable so yeah so i got white green and red and this is what i'm going to be using to create the sweater and i'm also going to be using a six millimeter hook from furrows this one is from furrows and i don't know what it's called but it's from furrows crochet and yeah so my what i'm thinking is that i'm going to do like stripes like green green stripes white stripes red stripes throughout the entire sweater and then i want to do like snowmen but just like the head of them maybe like and then sew two on then maybe do something else i don't really know but i know that i want my sweater to be like striped because i love stripes so yeah and i'm going to be making a pattern for this sweater so you guys will be able to purchase that at copydolls.com so you guys can make your own ugly christmas sweater and i decided to do this in november so you guys will have time to make it for december if you guys want to so that's the plan for that and i think that's really all i have to say so let's just get started
Okay, front panel finished in literally one day. So now it's time to start on the back panel. Okay guys, I just finished the back panel. Ta-da! So now I'm going to start on both sleeves. Let's get it. Okay guys, well, my back panel's finished and then I finished my two sleeves. And this is how I did both of the sleeves. I did one cuff green and then the other cuff, well ribbing, whatever, cuff ribbing red. So it was like kind of the opposite. On the, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. But now it's time to assemble everything and get started on the collar. So let's get it. Panels are slip stitched together, and now it's time to attach the sleeves.
Okay, so the sweater is assembled and it looks like this. It looks so good. Like, look at my sleeves, the different color sleeves. So now I'm going to start on a collar and I'm going to use red since there's not really red around here anywhere except on the shoulder part. So I think red will go really good because it'll be seen more instead of blending in more like the white on the sides or the green. So red we go and let's get it. Okay guys, the sweater is done. I finished the collar. The sleeves look beautiful. And this is the entire sweater. This looks so good. And now I'm just going to make like a snowman head or something, like two snowman heads. Maybe in like other Christmassy decorations to sew onto the front of this. So. I don't know if I'll record that, but I'll just show you guys everything I make for the front. Okay guys, so I want you guys to see how the sweater looks on me before I add all the ugly stuff to make it an ugly Christmas sweater. So this is how the sweater came out. This is literally the best sweater I've ever, 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 ever made. Ever made. This is my favorite sweater, hands down. But this is how it looks. And I'm definitely going to come out with like a basic pattern. I'm going to do one solid color, this exact same sweater, but without all the stripes and all that other stuff, without all the, you know, extra stuff. So I'm going to make another pattern. It's going to be a basic sweater and it's going to look exactly like this. And I can't wait to make that because I'm in love with this sweater. Like I'm going to make all kinds of sweater with this pattern, all kinds of sweaters with this pattern. But I just wanted to show you guys how it looks how it looks on me before I add all that extra stuff to make it an ugly Christmas sweater. But this, like, I would stop right here, but since it's Christmas, I wanna do something I've never done, like add all that extra stuff I usually don't do. So, but this is how, like, this sweater is so beautiful. Like, I literally don't wanna add anything. Like, I just made this snowflake. It's gonna go, like, right here. What the heck? It's gonna go like right here, then I'll have another snowflake like right there. Then maybe I'll do like an ornament right here, and then an ornament right there, and then I'll have a big snowman face right in the middle. So that's what I think I'm gonna do. But this is my first time making a snowflake. It looks so good. But yeah, that's how it looks. So let's get it. Okay guys, so this is kind of what I'm thinking. I have the two snowflakes right here. Then I made Christmas ornaments, so I have that on the corners. And then this is my attempt at a magic circle. But this is gonna be like the snowman's head. And then I'm getting ready to do a hat with the black yarn. Then I'll do the eyes with black, the black yarn too. And then the nose with the orange yarn. So that's how I think I'm going to do this and lay it out so let me get started on that hat and the eyes and the nose so let's get it okay so I literally just freehanded this hat I had no idea what I was doing but it worked out perfectly then I found some buttons so I'm gonna use that as the eyes so it's all coming together slowly I have no idea how I'm gonna do the nose I have no idea how to do like a triangle to like get that I don't even know and I, honestly I think I might do the nose but I won't do the, a mouth because I don't know I really don't want to so I think I'm just going to do, find a way to do the nose and then stop at that and then start sewing all these down because these are still just here they're not even sewed down yet so I love how it's coming out and yeah so let's get it okay so I put the sweater on and I put stitch 
markers to where like I want it to be where I want it to where I'm going to sew it down and then I have buttons like that and then I'm going to try to do the nose but if I really can't do it then I just I'll just leave it like at with just eyes because I think it with just eyes is it's a kind of cool look you know but I try and do the a nose but if it doesn't work out then I'll probably just stick with the eyes and then yeah but anyway let's get it okay guys I have absolutely no idea what I did but I have a nose boom ta-da okay that kind of looks chunky hold on okay I stretched it out I think that I think that looks good I'm not sure okay you know what yeah it looks it's, it's gonna have to do ta-da and it is all complete now I'm going to sew all of these down and then I will be done Okay, guys, I finished the sweater. So this is how it came out. And I'll, of course, I'll put it on tomorrow so you guys can see how it looks on me and all that stuff when I'm taking pictures. You guys know the drill by now. But I just wanted to show you guys how it looks. 
it took forever to sew all of this down but i got it done and i decided not to do a mouth i think we discussed that already so i don't know why i'm saying that but anyway yeah Ta -da. so i'll be taking pictures in it tomorrow oh god this is so cool i've literally never done anything like this before and i don't even know why i decided to do this because i literally could have stopped with the stripes and that's it but i wanted to be extra so here i am with an entire ugly christmas sweater Ta -da! so i'll see you guys tomorrow when i'm all dressed up and all that good stuff so see you guys okay guys i am all made up and this is the final look i mean this is how it looks on me jeez like this looks so good i love how it looks i love honestly i love everything about it like literally this is my favorite sweater i've ever made because it fits me so nicely like it doesn't flare up like red heartwood and it's like it's perfect and it's so warm and comfortable and soft like this is so soft but yeah this is hands down like one of the best sweater I've ever made and I'm absolutely absolutely in love with it and I can't wait to make more like I said before I do have a pattern for this sweater and it also includes like my snowflake the nose the eyes well not the eyes because these are buttons but like I included everything I did on this sweater in the pattern so it's not like I'm in a pattern it's just a sweater without like the decorations like I included everything so you guys can make this exactly how I made it so again you can purchase the pattern at copydolls.com and I will also be making a basic sweater like this but without stripes without decorations it'll just be a basic sweater with one solid color I think I'm gonna go with gray so I can wear it around the house because I like gray I don't know why I mean, even if it was a different color, I would still wear it around the house, but I really like gray because it's neutral and I can wear it, like, more often than I could with, like, a pink sweater. But, yeah, so I'm definitely going to make a basic sweater, so I can make that and you guys can make it as well. But this is how the Christmas sweater turned out. And... I'm in love with it. But that is the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And since you guys enjoyed it so much, be sure to like and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I post another video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.